Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the first week of August. So, we're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Aries for the first week of August? What do we have for Aries for the first week of August? Oh, we got one. Ah, oh, Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but this is a overall energy between you and another person because we're gonna get the, we're gonna do you and the other person. You choose a side. You choose which side is you. But the first two cards is the overall energy. So it's all about stability. It's all about value. Um, security. This is being grounded, down to earth, at ease, finding peace, being at ease, being very comfortable, realistic, practical. Um, now she has the Ace of Pentacles in her hand, so that is all about stability, security, manifestation. I feel like this person is doing a happy dance, very, very stable. Two of Pentacles, or Two of Pentacles, Two of Swords reversed. Two of Swords reversed. Now this is double loyalty or, or, or divided loyalty or being restricted. Somebody's having a hard time making a choice, needing to be realistic. So the overall energy, the resolution or the connection is probably very real. Okay, so the connection is real. But there's some sort of pull back and forth. There's some sort of loyalty to this person and somebody else. So you may be torn in the middle. You may be torn in the middle between two different people. I feel like, um, you know, you got to be honest with yourself. You need to be realistic. Okay, so this is the overall. There's, there's some sort of um, indecision here. Okay, so the over but, but, but for you and the other person, you choose. We're gonna let's do that. Let's get the cards. There's some sort of um, anxiety or stress over needing to make a choice, and this has to do with peace because she's very much at peace. Do you want to be at peace? Because it, take a look. I mean, this person is very much at peace. So, but you have, this is, this is indecision. So I think that you are undecided as to what is real and what is going to bring you peace. You may have an opportunity with an earth sign as well. Maybe you're dealing with an earth sign that is very, you know, at ease. This person is very down to earth, very at ease. It's just easy, it really is. Like, it is, <laughs> there's nothing to worry about. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. We're good. There we go. All right, um, I happen to be the triple queen of pentacles, so, so yeah, it's very much at ease. Okay, you and the other person, now you get to choose a side, and this is in regards to you and somebody that you are dealing with. Okay, we're going to start over here, so we have the page of wands. The two of wands reversed in the seven of swords. There's some sort of deception. Whoever over here is, whoever is on this side is, is scheming. We have a schemer over here. They're up to something. You got somebody over here that is, that is up to something. They're very, this may be the knight. It may be the knight because of the horse. It probably is the knight of wands. This is somebody who doesn't think. That, that moves very, very fast. You're dealing with somebody who probably made an impulsive decision. And they are probably, you know, trying to get away with it. Or they, they think they're getting away with it. There's some sort of lies here. There's deception. There's sneaky behavior. There's, there's impulsive. There's impulsiveness here. Somebody acted without thinking. And now they may um, be hiding. Okay, this is in hiding. Hiding something. Somebody is hiding something. Um... This is definitely impulsive. So we have somebody over here that probably made a poor decision. They were in a hurry. They manipulated. I think there's some sort of manipulation over on this side. And they're, they're, they're keeping secrets. We have somebody here that is up to no good. Okay. They move very fast. They don't think. This is somebody that doesn't think. Okay. Um, right over here on this side is somebody that doesn't think. 
Over here, we have the Wheel of Fortune reversed, the Six of Swords reversed, and the Five of Swords reversed. So this is the ultimate betrayal. So over here, this is an unfortunate loss, a horrendous un unfortunate loss. It's horrendous. This is being pushed away. You can't win no matter what. Um, staying put. This is a very difficult six situation. This, the Six of Swords reversed. This is somebody that is very much struggling. The Five of Swords or the Six of Swords reversed. We have a lot of power struggles here. Struggling to find peace. You may be struggling to find peace. There's been some sort of war. It feels like there's been some sort of battle. There's been some sort of animosity. animosity. We have a hostile situation here. This is a very unfortunate, horrendous loss. You may be dealing with a Taurus. I don't know. I just happened to put my finger on the bow and whatever. This is. It's, it's, it's very, it's horrendous. It's a horrendous loss. You may be feeling distraught. I feel like you are feeling distraught. I feel like you are have had to turn your back on somebody. Uh, maybe you were forced because this is force right here. So I'm, I'm, there's some sort of force um, and there's double loyalty. It's, it's stuck. It's, it's hard. It's, 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 it's hard to choose. So I think that you are, you are feeling, um, you know, restricted. You're, you're blocking your emotions. You, you probably are refusing to see the truth. You're refusing to take a new approach because why? Because why? This is refusing to take a new approach. This is refusing to open up. You know, you have an opportunity to find peace, but the only way to find peace is to like face your demons. Okay. There's something about about facing your demons and being secure. You know, you have to be secure with your decisions. Anyhow, um, the Wheel of Fortune reverse is a step back. It's a setback. It's a it's a fall from grace. It is. It is. Um, this is past mistakes coming back to haunt you, repeating past mistakes, refusing to walk away from somebody that hurt you. I think that you have experienced a big loss, something that was, that was probably beautiful. Okay. It was probably beautiful or some sort something you've experienced, or you are going through a major uh, unfortunate event okay the wheel of fortune reverse this is very very in unfortunate and this is mourning over that loss I think that you're mourning I think that you're thinking about it but you're but you're staying in it you're staying in it your mind is staying there instead of walking away it's like you have the ability to go get it okay you have the ob ability to to find peace you have the ability but you're just you're staying in a negative mindset okay I feel like this is your side I think you've been deceived by somebody I do I feel like you've been deceived I think that you've been lied to somebody see this is manipulation the Ouija board this is somebody that is forcing something they're forcing something okay so I think that you've been forced maybe even if you think about the Ouija board maybe even brainwashed you've been you've been uh you know, you, if you think about the Ouija board, you think about a Ouija board and you're, you, there's people that can control it. You know, they either you can wait and be patient and wait for it to work, or, but then you, you get with other people that take control. You have been under somebody else's control. Maybe you didn't know it. Maybe you didn't know it. Maybe you're naive because the Knight of, the Knight of Wands is very naive. Anyhow, I think that you, you have been under somebody else's deception. Somebody is, is very sneaky. They're hiding something from you. I feel like this is your side over here. I feel like you have been betrayed. And I think that you are mourning a loss that was caused by this person over here. We have a, a person that doesn't think before they act and they caused this loss for you. And I think it was a big loss. I think there was an opportunity for happiness. There was an opportunity for stability and security. But now there's some sort of um, blockage, okay? There's a detachment. This is emotional coldness or emotional uh, emotionally guarded, being shut down. You know, somebody shut down. Um, I f also feel like, like there's going to be some sort of exposure, some sort of exposure this week. 
um, if it hasn't happened yet. This is a this is an unfortunate, horrendous loss. This is mourning. This is a hostile situation uh, where somebody has been reluctant to take a new approach because they don't want to fight because maybe they were trying to prove something. You know, this is proving a point instead of just being happy. So we have a person over here that was staying in a very unfortunate situation because they had something to prove or they were uh, not wanting confrontation or something like that. So let's, let's get some more cards over here. There's some sort of uh, very, very, we have a very cunning individual that has deceived. They have definitely deceived. It's like they've pulled the wool right over your eyes. That's the person that you're dealing with. They're very, very sneaky. It feels like this is dangerous, too, with the Seven of Swords and this Two of Wands. I mean, Ouija boards are freaking dangerous. This is a dangerous situation, I, and it is. I think that this is there's there's danger here, or this was, or it is a dangerous situation. Um, this is somebody who doesn't think before they act. They don't. They act without thinking, and I feel like they they may have caused some trouble. And now you're you're stuck. You are now you're having a really really difficult time making a decision because you got some sort of loyalty to this person. But this is the wheel of fortune reversed is um, something not working out. This is bad luck in the wrong place at the wrong time. But I feel like you, this is a step back. This is a step back. Walking away. You're, somebody's walking away. Walking away from an individual that is really, really, really hard to deal with. Troubled, like they could, there could be somebody here that is mentally dysfunctional. Seven of Cups. Now this is illusion. There's this illusion. There's choices. There's options. Beware, beware of your choices. There's consequences. There's some sort of consequences here. Somebody's going to be facing some consequences for their actions. And I think that you, and maybe you're the one that is making the call. I feel like you have other options. I feel you have to make a choice, Aries. I think you have to make a choice. And you have to choose wisely. And I think that you've been really troubled because I think that you know that you have to make a choice. I feel like there's an opportunity or there's, yeah, there's an opportunity for, for, uh, peace and happiness if you make the right choice. Hmm. Oh my God. Whoever this person is over here, they don't make you happy. They don't make you happy. They may have, may have cheated on you at one point or they lied to you or, you know, they don't, it's not a happy relationship. There's lies, there's cheating, there's deception, you know, and I feel like... There's this re relationship problems with whoever this person is. This person is very fly by the seat of their pants. They don't think at all before they act. They don't. They may have a drinking problem or a drug problem, whoever it is that is on this side. Could be a water sign. Could be another fire sign. Uh, it could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But this is not a happy situation it's not happily ever after this there's there's some sort of uh deception there's deception there's lies there's cheating this person has been pulling the wool over your eyes they have they're hiding something as well you're dealing with somebody that is hiding something they are they have manipulated they have manipulated you they have 
And they have manipulated you into thinking, you know, what they want you to see, what they want you to read. It's like they wrote something up or whatever. It's what you, and they wrote it up the way that they wanted it to be written up. Whatever that means. This is like, this is like an unhappy relationship. Whoever you are dealing with, it cheats or they lie or the Seven of Swords or the Three of Cups. They don't really, uh, you know, they're very promiscuous with the Knight of Wands as well. Whoever this person is, they come and go very fast. They do not think, okay? They force things and they manipulate to get their own way, to get the answers that they want. They would do anything to make you think what you want. You know what I mean? What they want you to think. You're dealing with a master manipulator over here. You are. And I feel like you, I feel like you're very grounded. I feel like you are just been avoiding the truth <laughs> because this is avoiding the truth. I think you've been in denial. I think for some reason you're loyal to this person. You probably have been, maybe you were married to this person at one time or you're married to them now or you're in a relationship with them now or something like that. And that's why you're loyal to them because of the commitment. But whoever this person is over here, they are definitely hiding and they have something up their sleeve. And whatever it is that they have up their sleeve, I think it has to do with uh, them something they put in writing. It has something that they put in writing. Read a little bit deeper because, look a little bit deeper. I think this person has manipulated some sort of contract or something like that. They're definitely playing games with you. Okay. They got you right, 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 right where they want you. So I, I'm not sure who this person is, but they are a liar. I think that they've, they've definitely deceived you in a way that you probably don't even see. It's almost like they wait for you. They're watching every move you make. Anyhow, over here, I feel like this is you dealing with a setback. I think that you're dealing with a setback. I think that you have options. I think that you have to walk away, okay? I think that you're troubled. I think that you're stuck. You're in a very bad situation because you're loyal to this person in some for some reason. You're loyal to this person. Um, King of Pentacles reversed. Now, this is not being practical not being realistic, being ungrounded, unstable, insecure. So I'm not sure what side is you, but this is very, very insecure. Maybe really, really focused on your money. Maybe maybe you're not seeing it, okay? Maybe you're, you're not seeing what this person is because you're so focused on your money or you're so focused on your job or you can't afford uh, to leave, you can't afford it. Maybe you don't have enough money or you can't afford to let them go if this is a business partner or whatever. It's some sort of partner because of this too. And I think that you have another option, a better option, but maybe you just don't have the money to let this person go or something like that. Anyhow, I feel like you need to uh, find a way. You need to find a way to push this person, whoever this person is, away because... Uh, they're hurting you in some way. They are definitely hurting you. Um, oh my God. Yeah, they're stealing your energy. This person is bringing you down. They are absolutely bringing you down. They're, they're, they're making you, uh, they're taking your power away. They're taking your, they're draining you. Somebody is draining you. You're dealing with an individual who's like a psychic vampire. It feels like they're sucking you dry. I feel like they're, it's affecting your health, whoever you're dealing with. It's affecting your health. Um, you need to find your strength. You need to find your strength and your courage and your confidence and your willpower and your determination to be practical and to be realistic. And if this person is hurting you and they're keeping you in a situation that you don't want to be in, then I suggest you... 
move. I mean, we get the six of swords reversed, but it should be upright. Okay, if you if you're in a troubled and you are, this is a very troubled situation. This is a lot of anxiety, depression. You know, I can't get out of bed. Exhausted. They are exhausting you. Or you're working too much and you're and maybe you're working too much because you don't want to be around this person. You know, you're working yourself to death, perhaps. I don't know what the hell is going on. Or you you need to get out of this situation, whatever it is. You do. I feel like you uh, are going backwards because of this person. You, you know, maybe they're just using you for money. It's affecting your ability to, to have a happy relationship. Anyhow, I feel like you have divided loyalty between maybe somebody that is, I don't know if they're working for you or you're in a relationship with them now and, and somebody else. Maybe it's a family member, it's a previous family member and a new relationship. There's some sort of divided loyalty here. And you need to do what's right for you. You do what's right for you. Don't let this person manipulate you into uh, getting whatever they want. Because that's what they've been doing. My overall advice is to let go. Whoever this person is, they are holding you back. They're holding you back from stability. They're holding you back from happiness. They're holding you back from peace. It's time for you to relax. I think it's time for you to relax. This person brings a lot of animosity into your life or a lot of angst. It's because they do things without thinking and all the things that they do cause problems for you. But they know that you'll take care of it, right? And then you're the anxiety and the depression and the uh, burden is on your back. It's like they just give it right to you. And you allow it. So anyway, this week I feel like you are probably going to be making some sort of choice that you have been avoiding. Okay, you've been avoiding something. But now you're going to be seeing the truth because there's going to be some sort of exposure. This is lies being exposed. I think you've been overwhelmed. I think that you have been delaying the inevitable in regards to uh, removing yourself from this person's life or vice versa. But I think, it, I think that you're going to reach the point which you've been delaying. We can see that you've delayed it and delayed it and delayed it and delayed it. And it's because of, of needing this person for some reason. But needing this person has drained you. Anyway, I think it's a reality check kind of week. Okay, because of the Queen of Pentacles. She's she's very uh, at ease. Okay, she's very peaceful. She, she knows, she's grounded. She's uh, practical. She's realistic. She's down to earth. Um, it's all about finding your Zen this week and, that, and that's where you're at. I think you're at this space where you don't, you don't want to be all anxiety anymore. You don't want this anymore. You want Zen. So I think this week you're going to be, um, maybe you're letting somebody go, whether you're firing them or whatever. And it's all about finding peace. So, or maybe you're leaving and you've been reluctant to leave though. You've been reluctant to, to put a complete stop to this. But I feel like this week you're going to reach the uh, point of, well, there's probably going to be a fight with this five of swords and the six of swords reversed. There may be an argument that is, there's trouble coming, stormy weather. Okay. So this person may, um, something to do with money you know maybe there's a fight over money and you just blow you know you're you just be like i can't take this anymore get out of my life that kind of i don't know i don't know but it's time to move it is it is time to move it's time to move to a better place it's time to uh, tell whoever this person is that they're not going to manipulate anymore that you just want to be happy good luck